You've heard a lot of incredible speakers. There's more coming up. But what blows me away, sometimes people speak and you wonder how smart they really are. I graduated dead last in my high school class. I graduated from a big university here in Oklahoma. I have lived in Oklahoma. I love Oklahoma. I get who you really are, because I am you. And my guidance counselor told me I wasn't college material. I said, hell, I could have told you that. <laughs> then this twisted sister gave me this list of everything she thought I was best suited for. And the first thing on the list is I can become a bus driver. Now, if you drive buses, God bless you, but I can't get up that early. Your kid would live on the side of the road, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> but watch this. It's kind of weird. The world will give all of you in here exactly what you're willing to accept. And if you don't like the cards you've been playing, do you know your Holy Father, God in heaven, will give you a new deck, a new game? But see, some of you, you don't believe in any of that. In fact, most of you, as I'm looking at you, you're frowning at me. You know why? You're going to hell. Because if you understood the love of God, you would be so happy right now, you couldn't be sad. But I got about 190 of you in here that ought to go home tonight and order the Kevorkian Home Study Program. And watch this. It's kind of weird how the world is. And right now we have all of this uncertainty in the economy and politics and all of that garbage. Do you know what's wild? There's nothing new under the sun. Do you know, if you understand how to solve problems in a bad economy, you can become wealthy. And the Senate and the Congress and the President aren't going to save you. It's up to you to save yourself. And that's a fact. And I know some of you didn't like that because you're looking for somebody to pull you out. Catch this. God gave you a brain. Do you know, that, do you know what blows me away? Some of you who feel very ordinary, God made you with a DNA footprint that not another human has ever had but you. All of you are special. You can do anything you want to do, but you first have to know you can. If you think you're a loser, you are, because you don't believe. And watch this. God doesn't make junk. We junk it up. Let's get it on. Catch this. This is what blows me away. I have a lot of friends that write books, and I love them. And they're kind of funny. But one of my buddies that wrote a book called The Millionaire Next Door, in the book it says, 97% of us as Americans are going to go into retirement on a lower level of income than we had in our best working years, and only 3% of us are going to score. And it's going to get harder in the future. Some of you will blow me off today by going, that guy was really silly. Listen to this, and remember I told you, you're going to see the worst inflation you have ever seen in America. It's coming in the next six years. Are you going to be ready? Are you? It depends on what you do today. The decisions you make today will dictate how you end up in five, six, seven, eight, nine years. And I got a couple of you leaving early. You're going to get hit in the parking lot by a bus and die. <laughs> Seriously. God wants you here. You came here today for me. You just don't know it yet. And strap in. Here we go. I mean, I won't embarrass anybody, trust me. But listen to this. You know, what's funny about education is that two 22-year-olds can graduate from, you know, any you you want to do. They're all the same. And you got a 22-year-old beautiful young lady and a 22-year-old handsome young man, and they both graduate. Do you know what their predictability is? She will earn 67% of the wages that he will with a higher GPA and the same degree. And some of you go, well, so what? We're just women. Uh-oh. In fact, men and women aren't the same. Men are mostly unattractive, and women are art. But you know what's weird about women? All of you in here had a mama. How would you like somebody to hose your mama because she's just a woman? Uh-oh, now it's personal. And do you know what's amazing? It's not okay to hose anybody for any reason. Do you know you get what you give? Do you know the easiest way to become wealthy and happy and laugh all the time for no apparent reason is to help other people get what they need and you will always get more than you deserve? Do you know that's in the Bible, a book some of you can't read? And, and listen to this. This is huge. 
a lot of us, we're just in a train wreck. And women, some of you women in here, you know your relationships have gone sideways. Do you know it's not the big things you do that make a difference, it's all the little things. Like was it the ring you got at K Jewelers? You need a magnifying glass to see? Is that the marriage? No, it's I love you, babe. Everything you do makes my life incredible. I couldn't make it without you. Dinner last night was amazing. Even if it wasn't, say it was, she's gonna make it again anyway. <laughs> and listen to this, ladies. Ladies, if your guy in your life has just got a stick in his ear and he's not tracking properly, start sending yourself flowers once a week with no card. <laughs> You'll have options you hadn't even thought of yet. And we have flowers all around the stage, so make sure you take them home with no card. That'll drive him crazy. And watch this. You have to position yourself. And here's a reality check for America right now. One out of three of us is going to retire on about 900 a month. Most of those will be women who didn't position themselves correctly. And at age 50, the average citizen has a net worth of around 40 grand, including the declining equity in their properties. And then we're in Oklahoma about four paychecks away from financial train wrecks. Why? Because we're taught to work for our money, but our money doesn't work for us. And a lot of us are doing everything bass backwards. And you have to make your money work for you. It is very, very important. And then this is huge. Money is the number one cause of marriages going in the tank. If you're having problems financially, don't beat up your spouse. Get on your knees and ask God to open doors. And you know what's weird about that? Watch this. Every time God will open up a new door for you big enough to drive a tractor trailer through. But if you're trying to pick the lock on God, you're a dork, okay? <laughs> just stop it. You're just not real bright. And catch this. This is huge. One out of three of us in this beautiful Cox Arena here has bad credit. Look to your left, look to your right. One of you blows chunks credit wise, okay? <laughs> Some of your credit's so bad it could leave the hall, go out, smoke a cigarette, come back in and smack you in the mouth. Your credit is killing you. That's a problem. And then we got around two million bankruptcies on the grill in America, and we have around two million foreclosures. If someone's losing their home, don't take advantage of them. If it was you losing your home, would you want somebody to take advantage of you? Do you know there's easy things you can do to help people in their hour of need? What goes around comes around. And watch this. In Oklahoma, we're spending more money on coffee and soft drinks than we do our own education. Some of you are drinking too much coffee. I saw the lines up there. That's out of control. And listen to this. If you won't invest in yourself, why should someone else? You have to invest in yourself. And, and many of you in here, brilliant. Watch this, Mr. Scientist. One degree of vector, you'll end up in another solar system. Please hear this. The decisions you make today will dictate how you end up in 10 years. But most of us, because we're in this, this rut, we just never get out of the box. Many of you, your employers brought you here today. Be a good employee, but listen carefully. You have to be loyal to yourself as well. You have to make your money work for you. You just have to, or you're not going to make it. And loyalty is dead in America today. And do you know if you don't like yourself, no one likes you? Do you know if you don't love yourself, no one loves you? I just saved you a buck fifty on your first psychiatrist exam. <laughs> be good to yourselves. It's okay to do that. And this is huge. A lot of us have no game plan. How are you going to win a game if you don't know the rules? And you know what drives me crazy about Oklahoma? This is going to upset some of you, so just strap in. Do Lamaze. Some of you in this arena will walk around town with a jersey of a man's name on your back with their number. So you know what you're telling everybody? You don't want to be you. You want to be the player. There's not a player.